Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. This is a brief tutorial video on how to open Sigma Excel, activating, deactivating a license, what to do if you run into issues, and a few other topics of interest. There are three ways to open Sigma Excel. Probably the easiest is to use the desktop icon. The first time you open Sigma Excel, you will be prompted to activate. Activation is fairly straightforward. Select Activate Sigma Excel, click Next, copy and paste your serial number into the window, and click Activate. If the activation is successful, you will receive the message displayed on screen. If you ever need to move to a new computer system, you can transfer your license to the new system. To do this, you would open Sigma Excel click on Help, Activation Options, Deactivate Sigma Excel. Click Yes to deactivate. This makes your license ready to be activated on the new system. We strongly recommend running the following quick test the first time you use Sigma Excel. Go to Sigma Excel and click Data Manipulation, Random Data, Normal. Click OK on the default settings. The results should show you a column heading with 100 numbers. This means that our statistical engine is running. If you get just a column heading, contact Sigma Excel support. Support can be reached by phone toll free at 1-866-475-2124 by email at support at sigmaxl.com, by submitting a support ticket, or on our website through live chat. Stat column format is the recommended format for use with Sigma Excel. Note that all pertinent information is provided in each record or row. Also note that only one row is used for column headings, labels, and there are no blank rows or columns. Each column contains a consistent format of either numeric, text, or date. The use of column headings is recommended. Data can be pre-selected or use entire data table can be checked in the data selection dialog box. This automatically selects all the data. When pre-selecting data, do not select the entire column or row in Excel, only select the cells that have the data. When Sigma Excel is open successfully, the Sigma Excel menu will open in Excel and it's located at the top. Click Sigma Excel to show the ribbon. You can click on each menu selection to open the drop down menu and you can select a tool. Note that you will need data to actually run most of these tools. If you're not sure how to open an existing Excel spreadsheet, it can be done using the Excel file menu. To open files in Excel, go to File. Open and Browse. Open the file customerdata.xlsx. To create box plots, click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Box Plots. Check Use Entire Data Table and click Next. Select Overall Satisfaction and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Click Customer Type and click Group Category X1. Click OK. A box plot is generated. Descriptive statistics can be run by clicking Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Descriptive Statistics. Select Overall Satisfaction and click Numeric Data Variables Y. Click Customer Type and click Group Category X1. Click OK. Descriptive statistics of overall satisfaction by customer type are generated. The Recall Sigma Excel dialog opens the last dialog used with the previous selections and options pre-populated. Recall is extraordinarily useful when a user wants to quickly change or adjust settings and rerun the analysis without having to start over. Here you can see that I've used Recall in order to select additional options in the Descriptive Statistics dialog. To run a gauge RNR cross analysis, 
Open the file gaugeRRAIAG.xlsx. Click Sigma Excel, Measurement Systems Analysis, Analyze Gauge RNR Crossed. Select the part, operator, and measurement from the selection box on the left by clicking their associated buttons in the dialog. Here, I'm adding an optional upper lower spec of 8. Click OK to run the analysis. The gauge RNR study report is generated. For the histograms and process capability example, you can follow along by opening the file deliverytimes.xlsx. Click Sigma Excel, Process Capability, Histograms and Process Capability. Select Delivery Time Deviation and click Numeric Data Variables, Y. Here I'm setting the upper spec limit of 10, a target of 0, and a lower spec limit of negative 10. Click OK. The report is generated. To demonstrate the XBAR in our tool, I'll be using a sample data set called Catapult Data XBAR Control Charts. Note that this data only has the first 20 subgroups selected. I'll get to that later. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, XBAR and R. Because I just want to use the pre-selected data, I will not be selecting Use Entire Data Table. Click Next. Select Shots 1 through Shots 3 and click Numeric Data Variables, Y. Click Operator and click Optional X-Axis Labels. Check Test for Special Causes. Click OK. The XBAR in our control chart is generated with the Test for Special Causes report. Note that no tests are failing. Click on Sheet 1. There are five additional subgroups that we want to add to this control chart. Click on the XBAR in our chart tab. Click on Sigma Excel Chart Tools. Add data to this control chart. This chart is now out of control with three points failing the test for special causes. Observation 22, 23, and 24. Note that the Chart Tools menu is only available when the worksheet contains a chart, like the XBAR in our chart in this example. If you're stuck or need additional resources, Sigma Excel's Help menu is the perfect place to go. Here are some items in the Help menu that are commonly used. About Sigma Excel will give you details regarding which version of Sigma Excel is installed, as well as your Sigma Excel serial number. The Sigma Excel guide includes examples for most of the tools in Sigma Excel. What graphical or what statistical tools should I use? Our handy PDF guides to help users select the correct tool to analyze data. Activation options, which we covered earlier in this video, provides the ability to deactivate your license and transfer it to a new system. And finally, sample data links to the sample data sets referenced in the guide so users can run through the examples. The Sigma Excel website is a great place to find information about current versions, system requirements, upcoming webinars, and much more. Some useful pages are the virtual menu, if you click on products, Sigma Excel, launch the Sigma Excel virtual menu, which links to the online help for each tool. Another one would be the help desk, which you can get to by clicking help and support, help desk. It contains download links for Sigma Excel and support articles. This concludes the Introduction to Sigma Excel tutorial video. For more videos, visit us at www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.